and welcome to lesson number three. In this lesson, we're gonna review our embouchure and buzzing, but now we're gonna talk about how to properly place that mouthpiece on our mouth and buzz into the mouthpiece. Mouthpiece placement is one of the biggest differences between the French horn and all of our other brass instruments. On most other brass instruments, mouthpieces, you're gonna have that mouthpiece pretty evenly centered between your upper and lower lip. But on the French horn, you're gonna want about two thirds of your upper lip in that mouthpiece and only one third of the lower lip. So remember, the biggest thing about mouthpiece placement for the French horn is lots of upper lip. Okay, before we actually place the mouthpiece though, let's review our embouchure shape. Remember step one, wet your lips. Step two, say mmm. Step three, say poof. Okay, that's about the embouchure shape we want. But remember, that coffee stirrer size of our aperture and that diamond shape. And remember, go back to spitting of the seed for that buzz. So it should look like this. Mmm. So if this is the shape I have, um, here's how we're gonna place that mouthpiece on our mouth. So go ahead and grab your French horn mouthpiece, okay? Make your embouchure shape. Okay, you're gonna take the rim of the mouthpiece and you're gonna anchor that on the lower lip. Okay, now remember, you want mostly upper lip in your French horn mouthpiece. So we're gonna make our shape, anchor the mouthpiece, and we're gonna lift it up onto that upper lip. Something like this. Okay, so notice most of my upper lip is in that mouthpiece. Okay, now let's talk about the angle real quick. Now again, on our other brass instruments, we're gonna have even space, sort of a straighter angle. On the French horn, it's the opposite. Remember, mostly upper lip, and because of our lead pipe on our instrument, we need our mouthpiece angle to be going down. Okay, so again, Make your shape, anchor the mouthpiece, bring it up. So notice that downward angle, that is the correct angle we want. All right, let's go ahead and go back to spitting the seed, getting that buzz, and then we're gonna bring our mouthpiece onto our lips and get that buzz into the mouthpiece. Okay, so wet your lips, go ahead and set yourself up. Say, mmm, poo, spit the seed. <laughs> Okay, so that's sort of the slow motion of it. Okay, let's just try buzzing straight into the mouthpiece. So set up that embouchure, spitting the seed shape, and go ahead, take a big breath and buzz. Nice job. Let's try matching that C pitch just like we did earlier on our free buzz. La. Let's see if we can buzz that pitch. Ready, set yourself up. Very good. Now, once you can get a nice solid pitch on your mouthpiece, similar to earlier, let's do some roller coasters or sirens and just keep bending that pitch up and down on the mouthpiece. Ready, set yourself up, take a big breath. And challenge yourself, how high can you go? And how low can you go? All right, now be careful that we don't get too tight, okay? Because if we get way too tight, we're gonna get that really pinch tight sound where not that much air is going through the mouthpiece at all. Remember, you still want that diamond aperture shape in your mouth so that the air can come out into the mouthpiece. All right, let's go over some common embouchure issues you might come into. Now, if you're not getting a buzz at all, then that probably means the corners of your mouth aren't quite firm enough and that you're just not getting your lips together enough for that buzz. Remember, go back to spitting the seed. 
Okay? Now, let's say you have this sound. Okay, and then you're way too tight here. You're probably straining in your neck and your throat too much. Remember, keep a nice open throat, open airway. So instead of this, we want that. Okay? Another common problem you might see is this. Okay, don't puff your cheeks. If you're puffing your cheeks, you're just not directing the air enough into that small mouthpiece and you're not gonna get your buzz uh, correct either. Some other problems you might wanna look out for is bunching your chin up too much. Remember, keep a nice, firm, flat chin. You might see that your lips are starting to roll in on each other like that. We still want that upper lip <laughs> out down over our lower lip because remember, we want two thirds of our upper lip in our mouthpiece. And the biggest, biggest thing to remember, again, for mouthpiece placement, is upper lip and that downward angle, okay? This is way too low, okay? You shouldn't be able to see any of your upper lip here at all. So this is pretty good. That's way too low. And then on the flip side, this is probably too high, okay? So remember, spit the seed, anchor the rim of the mouthpiece down here and bring it over that upper lip, nice downward angle. So there are some basic buzzing and proper mouthpiece placement for the French horn. I'll see you in lesson number four.